Hi and hello guys. So it's been almost a month since I updated the Google Assistant SDK project or the GSSPy project. So now I have come up with uh, two updates this time. So one is to control Node MCUs over Wi-Fi without IFT or uh, MQTT or any other such protocols. And the second update is to play uh, radio stations using your uh, Google Assistant on Pi. So before taking you guys through the how to and all those stuff, a quick uh, demo of the updated features. Hey Google, turn on wireless device one. So first LED has turned on. Hey Google, turn on wireless device two. Hey Google, turn on wireless device 3. So the third LED has also turned on. Hey Google, turn off wireless device 1. Hey Google, turn off wireless device 2. Hey Google, turn off wireless device 3. I have just shown the LEDs but you can connect whatever you want maybe a relay or motor or whatever so in this case the trigger word is wireless so I have arrived at this uh, wake word by trying out uh, many wake words so I tried out uh, ESP I tried out uh, IOT and many others but I felt that uh, this was more convenient to use for an array of people uh, with uh, native language being English and without native language being English and so on. So now to the second update. Hey Google, tune into Radio 1. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, tune into Radio 2. As I decided, you know what, I'm going to read your review and just play some things from the album and um, hear them for the first time on my show myself. And hey Google, see what I think of it and stop. How I feel about it and how other people do. So I feel good and I hear on the confidential show. Hey Google, rub it in a little now stop. By playing some Hey Google, tune into Radio 3. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, tune into Radio 5. Hey Google. Hey Google. Stop. Okay, so as you now saw, guys, uh, here in this case for uh, playing the radio, the trigger word is tune into. I felt that uh, it is more uh, communicative way of uh, asking Google to play a radio. So normally you tune into a radio, play a song turn on the lights and something like that so it is more a colloquial form of uh, communication and that is why I said the trigger word for radio as uh, tune into okay so now with the demo done I will show you as to how you can customize these actions so we shall start with the uh, code for the node MCU so you can find the download links for the code in the description of this video see if you open the code uh, first uh, that you need to do is you need to set your uh, Wi-Fi ID and password so once you do that uh, right below the Wi-Fi credentials you will find the uh, declaration of devices so in this case I have uh, declared the devices as uh, device 1, device 2, device 3 so you can give whatever name you want and in this case I have assigned the pins for uh, VMOS D1 mini as you can see over here 
I have assigned the pins for uh, BMOS D1 Mini. So if you are using some other uh, node MCU, please change the pin numbers accordingly. Leave the baud rate unchanged. Uh, do not uh, change anything over here and do not change anything else as well. So after that, if you scroll down, you will find the uh, series of codes under uh, declare device pins. So this is where you need to declare or uh, create your uh, device pins. So you should match the pin names over here with the names that you first created right at the top. So you can give whatever name you want here over here. So once that is done, just scroll down and keep scrolling until you see a section called check device request. So this is the most critical part. Here, please do not change device one or uh, anything of that sort. You can see a forward slash followed by device one equal to on and after that you will see a forward slash uh, device one equal to off. So this should not be uh, or need not be uh, same as your name. So if you change that device uh, name it is okay but uh, please do not change anything over here. If you want to create another device just copy paste the last uh, set of commands the on and off commands paste it over here and change it to device 4 and then uh, right below over here you will find uh, HTML codes so the uh, key advantage of the code that I am giving you is uh, you can use it to either uh, control the node MCU pins using a Raspberry Pi or you can even control it from any browser from your mobile phone or uh, laptop or any browser so for that you need HTML codes uh, you can change uh, your device name or whatever you want over here but again as I said earlier leave the forward slash device one equal to on unchanged and similarly forward slash device one equal to off so leave uh, these parameters unchanged so that is how we can customize this uh, node MCU code uh, once that is done uh, you can upload the code and open a serial monitor press the reset button on your node mcu and you should get your ip address of the node mcu make a note of this we need this to uh, add it in the raspberry pi okay so next moving on to the raspberry pi section let's start with the main.py as I uh, mentioned during the demonstration, I have set the keyword for controlling the node MCUs as uh, wireless. If you want, uh, you can change what, what change it to whatever you want, but just make sure that uh, Google is detecting this wake word uh, properly. I mean, uh, the trigger word properly. So the function that I have assigned for controlling uh, the ESP actions is ESP. I have imported the ESP right at the top. And for uh, the radio action, as I said again, uh, the keyword is uh, tune into. And I have declared a function called radio in the actions.py file, which I am again importing. So now into the actions.py file, uh, first take a look uh, at the node MCU customizations and then we'll go into the radio part. Okay, so there will be a section called uh, or a line called IP. Uh, you need to change the XXXX and all. Uh, you need to change the series of X's with uh, the IP address that you get from the serial monitor of your uh, Arduino IDE. So for uh, controlling the ESP, I have assigned the device names as a device 1, device 2, device 3. You can change the device name, but uh, please don't change the device ID. So if you remember, uh, we set the control for uh, the pins as forward slash device one, forward slash device two in the uh, Arduino IDE. So you should have the device ID same uh, same over here, but you can change your device names. If you want to, if you added another device in the Node MCU, similarly you can add a new name and uh, add the uh, device ID over here. And uh, this is the function that I have created for controlling your ESP. You cannot uh, uh, at a time uh, control more than one device. Let me just uh, inform you guys of that. 
you need to control device one device at a time you cannot control multiple devices in one command okay so with the esp part done uh, moving over to the radio so as you can see right at the top i have got the station name and uh, station link variables so when i first tried with the google assistant it it didn't recognize the radio one as radio one it didn't recognize the numeral instead it printed uh, the characters so that is why i have set the station name to uh, radio one one in alphabets and not numerals so that is how uh, google assistant is uh, recognizing it is recognizing radio one as uh, one with alphabets and not numerals but uh, it is recognizing uh, the radio 2 3 uh, 4 and uh, 5 and all with uh, numerals i have uh, omitted uh, radio 4 because it is detecting 4 as 4 so i have uh, omitted uh, radio 4 and uh, straight away gone to radio 5 just like how 1 plus uh, skipped the 1 plus 4 so i have just like that uh, skipped the 4 over here and for the station links for the radio you should have a dot pls extension or you should have a dot m3u8 extension or you should have mp3 extension so let me give you the links from where you can get the radio station ids so this is the website that i used for uh, getting the uh, radio station ids go to the station list so once you are into the stations uh, section you will see an array of uh, different radio stations which you can add say for example for adding this uh, radio station just click on that and copy the source stream and then paste it over here it should be within quotes you can paste it over here say before uh, pasting if you want to check whether uh, it works or not just copy this open up your raspberry pi and within the terminal type vlc space and paste that link so it is playing it means it is a valid radio link that is how i uh, tested and added uh, these radio links i think uh, this site best is the best place to get uh, all your uh, radio uh, links or uh, radio streaming links i will also leave you uh, guys with other uh, websites for getting the uh, radio stations but just make sure to test uh, before you include them in the code okay so that is pretty much it guys so i really hope that you find this uh, video useful and informative and before that if you like to see any uh, feature in the next update you can either comment in this video or you can mention the feature that you want in the feature request section in the github okay so that is pretty much it guys see you guys in the next video take care and bye bye